Welcome to a video on the derivative of parametric equations. The goals of this video are to determine the derivative of parametric equations and also to determine the equation of a tangent line to a curve written in parametric form. So if we have x written as a function of t and y written as a function of t, as long as these functions are differentiable, then dy dx is equal to dy dt divided by dx dt. So to find the derivative of y with respects to x, we have to find the derivative of y with respects to t, and then divide by the derivative of x with respects to t. And this works as long as dx dt does not equal zero. Let's look at some problems. We want to determine the equation of the tangent line when t equals one. So the first thing we have to do is find the derivative of y with respects to x. It'll be equal to dy dt, well here's y, so dy dt would be equal to negative one, and dx dt would be two t. So dy dx is equal to negative one over two t. So now we need to evaluate this when t is equal to one. So we'd have negative one over two times one, that's negative one half. So this is gonna be the slope of our tangent line Now to find the equation of the tangent line, we also need a point on this line. So now we need to take our value t equals one and sub it into our parametric equations. So when t is equal to one, x equals one squared, that's one. And y is equal to two minus t, so two minus one would also be one. Let's go ahead and find the equation of this line using point slope form. Okay, so we'd have y minus one equals negative one half times x minus one. Let's go ahead and distribute and solve for y. So I have negative one half x plus one half. And now we'll go ahead and add one to both sides. So we'd have y equals negative one half x and this would be plus three halves. Let's go ahead and check this graphically. Here we have the graph of our plane curve in red. Here's the point of tangency, which was one, one, and here's our tangent line. So it looks good. Let's go ahead and try another one. Same question, now t is equal to pi over four, x equals four cosine t, y equals four sine t. So we'll start by finding our derivative with respects to x, which equals dy dt divided by dx dt. Well, the derivative of four sine t would be four cosine t. dx dt would be equal to the derivative of four cosine t, which is negative four sine t. And this simplifies. Cosine t over sine t would be equal to cotangent t. So this simplifies to negative cotangent t. Now we need to evaluate this at t equals pi over four to find the slope of that tangent line. Well, I know that cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent and tangent pi over four is equal to one. So cotangent pi over four is also equal to one so the slope here will be negative one. Now to find a point on the line, we do have to use the value of t equals pi over four and sub it into our parametric equations. So x equals four times cosine pi over four. Well pi over four would be an angle in a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. So we know the two legs are one and the hypotenuse would be square root two. So x is gonna equal four times cosine pi over four, which is one over square root two. And y is gonna be equal to four times sine of pi over four, which is also one over square root two. So this would be four over square root two in both cases. But if we rationalize this, we're gonna have four square root two over two, which is just two square root two. This will be true for both cases. 
So this tells us that our point is going to be two square root two comma two square root two. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clear this so we have some space to find the equation of our tangent line. So we have y minus y one, which is two square root two, must equal the slope negative one times x minus x one, which is two square root two. Let's go ahead and distribute and solve for y. So we'll add two square root two to both sides. So we'll have plus four square roots of two. So this would be the equation of our tangent line. Let's go ahead and check it. I'm not sure if you recognize this, but this graph would be a circle with radius four. Here it is. Here's our point of tangency, and here is our tangent line. So once again, everything looks good. Let's try one more. Same question, now t is negative pi over four, and x is equal to two cosine cubed t, and y is equal to two sine cubed t. The derivative of y with respect to t would be, here we do have to apply the chain rule, so we're gonna multiply by three, that would be six sine squared t times u prime, and u is sine t, so we'll have another factor of cosine t. We're gonna divide this by dx dt, so we're gonna multiply by three, that's gonna be six cosine squared t times u prime, where u is equal to cosine t, so we'll have a factor of negative sine t here. Let's go ahead and simplify this. Notice this cosine factor simplifies out. This changes the cosine to the first. This factor of sine simplifies out. This becomes sine to the first, and the sixes simplify out. So we're left with sine divided by negative cosine, which is equal to negative tangent t. We need to evaluate this when t is equal to negative pi over four. So we'll have negative tangent, negative pi over four. Let's go ahead and take a look at this reference triangle. We're gonna be in the fourth quadrant down here. So we have one negative one square root two. So the tangent of negative pi over four is going to be equal to opposite over adjacent or negative one, but we want the opposite of that so this is going to equal positive one, which will be the slope of our tangent line. Now we need to find that point of tangency when t is equal to negative pi over four. So x is gonna be equal to two times cosine of negative pi over four cubed. Well the cosine of negative pi over four is going to be one over square root two, so we'll cube that. It'll give us two over Square root two cubed is two square root two, so we have one over square root two for the x coordinate. And then for y, we're gonna have two times the sine of negative pi over four, which will be negative one over square root two to the third power. So the only difference here is we're gonna have two over negative two square root two, so the y coordinate is negative one over square root two. Now let's go ahead and clear this so we can find the equation of our tangent line. We have y minus negative one over square root two must equal one times x minus one over square root two. So we'll have y plus one over square root two must equal x minus one over square root two. So if we subtract one over square root two on both sides, we'll have y equals x minus two over square root two. We could rationalize this, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that. Let's take a look at the graph. Here's our plane curve in red and our tangent line in blue. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.